Oh, he's getting it now. Hey everyone, welcome to that metal customer. Casey and I are out here today on the 78 Dodge Warlock. Uh, time to put in a front windshield. And the first thing we've done, of course, covered everything up and we're looking at scratches on it. We have our glass and chrome cleaner. We have our handy dandy ball hook tool. This thing is awesome. We have a helper stick. These come in handy. And this windshield here has a locking strip that we got installed in it. So we have our locking strip tool. I haven't used this yet, so this will be new to me. And like I say, the first thing we've done is cover the vehicle for safety. We got all the tape and stuff off the glass around the edges in case it's got the suction cup stuck in. But we took our seal and hung it up over there on the lip in front of the heater blowing on it. So it's warm and it's soft and all. So that's what we're going to do first is get our seal in the actual truck if I can keep the camera straight. Alright, this is uh, pretty self-explanatory, ain't it? on correctly. deep it sits right there to my thumb line. Alright, the next thing to do, uh, of course we'll get our, this is what we use for the last one, chrome cleaner. Take our plastic stick, get all this separated, turn that through there, and fill it full of the glass with chrome cleaner. We found out in the back window that if we get that really lubed up well in there, we don't spare on the loop. And we coated the window really well. Man, it went in like a green. But that's all you need to do is get hung up on the dry All right, so... Commercial break. Commercial break? Commercial break. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Here at Heavy Metal Customs, we can pretty much do anything that your vehicle needs, whether it's nice, like this Dodge Warlock that we've been doing a restore and some custom work on it, or just your basic everyday vehicle. You want a snazzy set of duels, or a restore on that rat rod or hot rod. 
we got you covered. Call us, set up an appointment, 615-765-5409, or throw us a message on Facebook, we'll get right back to you. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, welcome back. What we're doing now is the last curl winter. We're trying to do the bottom, okay? Just set puddles up in there. I'm going to just get my stick in there. Open it up and hopefully it's all sick in there. Got it, got it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, got to get it set in this bottom groove first. Set it down on it. Like what? Just lay it down on the sill. Oh, I got you.
locking strip. In case you're going to throw a little lube in there. And you start at the center of the hood. That's the center. This center right here, Case. Because we've got a little piece to put on the center. And like I say, this is where you use that weird looking tool that we picked up. It just basically goes down in that groove. Casey's almost trying to get in there. <laughs> trying to get a good camera on that. You should be able to just slide with it. <laughs> yeah, I wish. You got it started in the groove. No, nah, it's pumped out. Code. Cheat code. All right, come towards you, son. We got to get that dead center. Oh, you were there. My bad. My bad. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Beautiful. All right, you're supposed to use a tool, but apparently, in case I can snap it in. Probably have to use a tool on some of it around the corners, I'm going to guess. But there you go. So let's see finish that, then we'll show you how we finish this up with a little piece. All right, guys, we're back on it. Well, we've been on it. Let me tell you something. That chrome trim that we was trying to put in, we spent, I kid you not, six hours. That chrome trim does not want to fit in that rubber correctly. And 
we broke the tool, we broke both pieces. They had that other piece? Yeah, we snapped it off, trying to get that to fit in there right. So apparently, either this rubber here is not set up for the chrome, there's something wrong with this rubber, there's something wrong with that chrome trim, or what have you. But like I say, six hours wasted, that's BS. So what we're going to do, as you can see right now, Casey's got the black trim, and uh, all that, it's a lock, is what it is. Here, this tool will work on that lock, Casey. So we're going to run this black one around here and see how it fits, and I think that's going to do the trick. But, I'll reiterate, at least we got the window in, we didn't crack it, it's in a straight, the gasket's in correctly, so all of that went well for us. That's how the locking strip should go in. Maybe not that easy. Not the strip. Blue? Yeah. All I'm doing is making sure that the locker is sitting in the sill. Now, in case you're taking the blue and just a little bit of insurance, make sure everything went in there correctly. You can't have too many of these cool plastic sticks. If you're doing glass work or interior work or anything like that, they're just awesome to have. In case you're going to run around the whole thing and do a recheck. Yeah, look how nice that slides in that groove now. And no problems in that corner over there, right? Nope. That's where we was having all the problem with the uh, chrome. That's got it? Yeah. Well guys, there you go. There's how we install a front windshield in a 78 Dodge Warlock. Now all we got to do is uh, put a little cleaner on it and hit it. And we're ready to move on to the next step on this thing. Well, everyone, we appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little something. Uh, if you would, throw us down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on the uh, super things down below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.